Welcome to our tip eight, and this is the must know tidyverse features. And we're going to be showcasing the new relocate function, which just came out in dplyr 1.0, which was released earlier this year. And this is a really cool function. So um, we definitely want to check it out. Before we get started, make sure that you have the code. Um, you'll want to sign up for the weekly art tips newsletter um, and also check out the, the uh, notes at the bottom of this video. You want to go to Git, do a Git pull to make sure you're up to date, and you'll get a folder in here with 008 Tidyverse new features relocate. So we're going to be working out of this file here, 08 Tidyverse relocate.r. All right, so let's get started. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to load the Tidyverse, and the data that we're going to be playing around with today is the MPG data set, which actually comes from the ggplot2 library. And it's got a list of automobile manufacturers, models, and some information about the vehicles. So we're going to be playing around with this, showcasing the relocate function. So first, what I want to do is I want to cover what select is versus relocate, because these are two functions that, that perform similar operations, and it can get a little confusing. So uh, the select function in dplyr is kind of like filtering, but for columns. So we have columns here, and when you select certain columns what it does is it filters specifically to those columns so right here we have mpg and we're going to select model manufacturer class and year so that'll be model manufacturer class uh, which is right here and year so when we do that i'm going to run these two lines of code control enter you can see we specifically get those columns in that order that i've specified here so relocate is similar but it's but it's a little bit different because it's more like arranging the columns so arrange is a function that um, uh, arranges the rows in dplyr and relocate is kind of like arrange but for columns so you can see if we check out this mpg data set again if i do instead of doing select now i do relocate model manufacturer class year it's going to take those columns and shift them up to the front. So let's check that out. I'm going to run these two lines of code here, control enter, and I see it now I have model, manufacturer, class, and year, and those are in the front. And I can tell it where to, uh, where to relocate because it also has some other arguments. If I hit tab here, um, or if I check out the documentation for relocate, if I do question mark, relocate, control enter, um, what it does is it has some additional arguments before and after, and you can specify names. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about those here in a second. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is do three ways that we can use relocate. The first one is relocating by column names, and that's kind of what we saw up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to relocate the manufacturer, and I'm going to put it, this is the manufacturer column, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it, after the class column. So basically moving it to the end. So if I run these two lines of code here, control enter, I can see now uh, manufacturer has been moved behind class. So it's basically, if we use the before, the dot before or the dot after, we're able to kind of specify where we want them to be located. So if I change this to dot before class, it'll move it right in front of class. So that's uh, how, how that works. Um, we also have a new function called last column. So sometimes you won't know what the last column is, but it's very common to want to know where the last the position of the last column is so you can uh, relocate something in relation to it. So there's this last column function. So if I do control and enter here, um, if we go to, I think right here, uh, no, it's going to be tidy select. Yeah, last call, it selects the last variable in a column, which in this case would be class. So this will do the same thing. If I run these two lines of code here, control enter, it's uh, positioning after the last call. If I do before the last call, I can uh, place it in front of the last column. And if I want to, I can also apply an offset. So if I do offset one, uh, control and enter, again, it's putting it in front of the, the last column. So I can add an offset. If I want it to be two, two positions in front of the last column, I can see now manufacturers here. If I want to do three, control enter, and so on. 
Okay, so we're relocating a single column by a position now. Now the second way that we can use relocate is to relocate by data type. And what this is, is where we're actually selecting multiple variables and we're telling it to relocate based on their data type. So I can see that there's a character here, a double. So character is a, is a string, double would be a numeric value, integer, and so on. So say I wanna grab all of the numeric columns that are in this and I wanna push those to the front, uh, we can do something like this. Now we have to use a new function called where. So we say relocate where is numeric. So when I run this, it's going to put all the numeric columns now in the front and then all the character columns are now in the back. Um, we can do the same thing, uh, the opposite, which is relocate where is character. And I can do control enter. And now all of the character columns are in the front here and all the numeric columns are in the back. And then finally, we can uh, start mixing and we can say where is character. We can do after last call, control enter. And this is actually the same thing as this up here. So we just moved um, now all of the character columns to behind the last column or after the last column. Pretty cool. Um, and then the third way that we can use relocate is with tidy select. So uh, the tidy select, if you look up, if I do question mark contains, actually I'll do it right up here. Control enter. And if I got a tidy select, there's a bunch of different verbs we can use. So start, if something starts with, like a name starts with say C, or if it contains uh, a letter or, or so on, um, we, can, we can actually select those variables and move them around, shift them using this relocate function. So right here, what I'm gonna do is take the MPG data set, and I'm going to say if it contains a D, so this, this has a D in it, uh, this has a D and so on, we're gonna put it before year. So if I do control enter, I see I've got uh, model, displacement, drive are all before year now because they have Ds in there. Now, if I do starts with, and it actually turns out it does the same thing. If I say starts with say uh, M, we'll say M, we now have any columns that start with M being placed before year and displacement then goes to the front. So uh, we can use these tidy select verbs or tidy select functions to be able to uh, also be able to select multiple one or more columns um, based on what the, the name structure looks like and uh, whether or not they um, start with, ends with, contain, matches, and you can also do numeric range, so that'll ma match a numeric range. If you like this video, don't forget to sign up for the Tuesday Free R Tips newsletter. You can just click this uh, link here and it'll send you here. Put your email address in and every Tuesday you'll get these videos, you'll get the code, and you'll get the tutorial right in your inbox.